Oh hey guys, how's it going? It's another one of these vlogs where I talk about stuff. It's been about, I'd say maybe two weeks since I made one of these, I think. I'm pretty sure the last time I made one of these I was working nights and we're doing streaming. And I was talking about streaming. So yeah, feels like about two weeks. I got a rock of piss. So a lot of stuff has changed. That's good. Some I'm willing to talk about. Some I'm not, but that's okay. Uh, still working. Still have my job. That's still the same front there. Uh, we got um, no snow outside anymore. Don't know if that was like that last time I filmed. Or even if I showed you. Because I mainly talked about... Uh, what the hell did I talk about last time we talked? I can't even remember. I'm going to make something to eat real quick. I bought these egg roll things at uh, the grocery store yesterday. These uh, chicken egg rolls. <laughs> Give me some chicken egg rolls, Julian. So yeah, I've been doing some streaming here and there. But I haven't been streaming much this week because I've been on days and just having a hell of a time adjusting to days. You know what I mean? Like, I just can't seem to do it. But uh, a while back, I bought one of these things. And uh, like, you see that thing that that, that wire is plugged into? Okay, that's a... Uh, a wireless switch if you will. I used to use it back in the day to turn on a desk lamp or a table lamp when my bed was up here. I had a lamp on this table and I would turn it on remotely from my phone. Originally I had this here light switch here which is basically a toggle on off on off and it's also a wireless switch but it was some proprietary battery that I could never replace because I'd bring it into every shop and they'd be like we don't have that kind. So I bought one of those. It's a TP-Link switch. It's like 30 bucks. The only thing is, is you got to use your phone. Which, one second here. Let me get the program open. Because that's, that's a thing. you got to get the program open. And so it's called here. So the program's CASA by, I don't know. And when you press the button, it turns on the lights. So you can turn them off, on, off, on, and it's all done by doing this. Well now, uh, something cool that happened at work was we're celebrating the fact that uh, we've made it our one year anniversary uh, into the new uh, venture ship, if you will. So they gave us something pretty cool, like check this out. Hey Google, turn on studio lights. Hey Google, set volume 50%. Hey Google, turn off studio lights. You got it, turning off the studio lights. Yeah, um, a lot of people are going to be interested in this. A lot of people are going to be upset by this. Because they think these things like, you know, spy on you and shit. And collect data for the CIAs and the FBIs and the uh, Russian GMCBs. Uh, but... And they gave us each one of these things. It's a Google Home. Um, basically, I don't know what the hell I just did there. I, I touched it and stuff happened. Hey, why are you... Uh, okay, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. This thing's weird. But yeah, so I just put it there. And uh guy at work was like, You remember those switches we bought off of Red Flag deals that one time? And those light bulbs? Well, I didn't buy the light bulbs. I was going to buy the light bulbs and put them up there. That was the original plan. But then I was like, well, I got two light bulbs running off of one thing. Why don't I just save my money instead of spending 60 bucks because they're 30 bucks a bulb? Why not just spend 35 bucks and buy the one switch to drive two bulbs off of one lamp? That's just more logical, right? Otherwise, I can go, you know, turn on studio light bulb one, turn on studio light bulb two. So if I wanted a half power or full power, but that doesn't make sense. So I was like, nah, get the switch. We're good. Well, my coworker, he's not a big fan of these stupid things, so uh, he uh, he's like, "You want mine?" So I got another one here. <laughs> he uh, he didn't like his because of uh, the reason I just originally said in the um, when I was talking about them, how people think they they spy on you and like it's like it's no different. That thing over there is no different than this thing here. I bet you I could use the assistance program on here 
to control those lights because I'm already doing it from the application right from the Casa application so I bet you there's a way to set this phone up to work like that stupid hockey puck over there and and to give her but one thing I'm actually impressed about with that little hockey puck is the audio quality I played some Spotify through it and I pinned the volume I set the volume to 100% and I was like wow this the clarity from such a little device like it, th then I started wondering, like, okay, well, if that thing's able to produce that kind of sound being that small, what the hell's wrong with these other ones? Like, like these ones from Budweiser that I have, or, or um, I got another El Cheapo Cabre one. Like, these Google Home pucks, they only go for about 50 bucks at, uh, at Staples, or... What the hell's going on now? Okay. Like, they only go for, like, 50 bucks or so, I think. Like, they're not that expensive for these little hockey pucks. Google Home Mini and do okay so they're $79 all right well okay never mind I thought they were cheaper than that because I could have sworn I saw them for $49 somewhere I'm what can't get the best buy why not whatever who cares Home Depot carries these things? That's where you go to buy lumber. What the frig? So I think what I want to do now is I want to look at getting the uh, automated light switch for the kitchen. <laughs> so uh, I might set up the other hockey puck downstairs and use it to turn on the lights and off the lights down there. As well as uh, I want to link the... Um, I want to set up a switch outside for the outside porch light. So like... I don't have to have it on all the time and I can turn it on remotely so like if I'm up here and something's fucking around outside I can just click a button on my phone or say like uh, you know porch light on and then boom porch light comes on and then uh, that would be kind of sweet just to use my voice to control things so yeah smart homes it's gonna be a thing I think it's gonna be a good thing Maybe. I don't know, I'm nerdy like this, and I'm having fun with this automation. Like, um, the one guy from work, he already had one, so he's got two now. And he said you can link them together. Uh, I don't know, but he said you can use them as an intercom system. So, like, if you're sitting up here and somebody's downstairs, they can be, you can be like, link up to downstairs and create intercom. And then you can just talk, and they'll hear you downstairs, and they can talk back and hear you upstairs. And I don't know if that's true. I'm going to have to look that up. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, uh, it is what it is, so. And literally all that is is the same as saying, uh, Hey, Google. On this thing, so. I had to bring it in closer because if stupid back there heard me, she'd be chirping up a storm and being like, I want to help you with finding your things and stuff and junk. Because you know how technology is. You know how technology is. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been doing much stream in there. Uh, another thing that happened at work was uh, one of the guys... Um, I noticed he doesn't wear glasses when he drives his car or rides his motorcycle, but he's always wearing glasses at work. So I just figured maybe he needs them for reading. And then I realized when he walked by the one day, they were yellow tinted. And I'm like, okay, what the frig's really going? So I asked him, I said, hey, man, are those those gunner glasses, those gaming glasses? And he's like, yeah, they're computer glasses. I'm like, are they prescription? He goes, oh, no. He goes, I don't wear glasses. He goes, I just, I found that after working on the computer here and then going home and watching TV or whatever, it, it feels like there's sand in my eyes. And I was like, well, shit, I have that same problem. This is why playing PUBG, the first couple rounds, I go in, smoking guns ablaze, and I'll get a couple kills here and there. But then after that, I can't see the broad side of a barn because my eyes feel like there's bees inside of them stinging the shit out of my iris, and it's just not a good feeling. Uh, so I was like, you know, weird question. I'm like, can I try those? Like, do they actually work? And he said, dude, it's night and day. He goes, you put them on, and you could sit in front of a computer 24-7, which is pretty much what I do, because you all know that. And I'm like, well, shit, I need this. So I tried them out for half an hour, and let me tell you. Let me tell you 
they work. Like, it, it, my eyes felt great. I'm looking at the screen. There's more resolution somehow. Like, things are popping out that shouldn't pop out. Well, I shouldn't say that. There was more de it just felt like there was more detail on the screen. And they're not prescription lenses, so it's not like I need glasses. It's just, if you think about it, for eight hours a day, I'm staring at the stupid monitors. And then I come home and play video games staring at the monitors or watching Netflix or I'm just chilling like a villain, um, you know, trying to save money and just do nothing. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's like they really worked. So I reached out to Gunner and said, hey, man, I'd like to do a review on your product. Can you hook a brother up? Give him the YouTube channel. They laughed at me and said, no, at this time, we're not accepting any any sponsors however we'll give you a $15 off on an Amazon coupon how about that and I went okay that's good that's good enough that, that's that's awesome you know I wasn't really expecting them to do anything to be honest because my channel kind of went to shit and uh, whatever that's my fault I haven't been keeping up with it and you know I have other more pressing matters like trying to keep my head above the water than making YouTube videos it's the way she goes but um, so I ordered a pair, and they should be here tomorrow. So I'm kind of stoked for that, because, yeah, it's like night and day, and I'm hoping I'll be able to spot more bad guys now. Between that and if PUBG would ever get, like, sound fixed in the game, I think we'll be golden. Like, we'll be able to actually get some decent kills in on people, because right now, it's like a pain in the ass. If you're wondering what I'm moving, it's a bag of hickory sticks. I'm just trying to uh, clear some room off on my desk here. Oh yeah, and I bought a new wallet because let me tell you, carrying this cinder block in my back pocket? Yeah, no no thanks. I'm finally joining the, the new age, boys. I got a minimalist wallet with RFC, FID, fucking element OP blocking so that uh, it prevents your tap cards from being used by an anonymous source. So that's cool. Holy crap, is she ever smoky out here? I have this bad, I have this bad sinking feeling that there's a lot of smoke pouring out of my uh, air fryer. I thought you'd be done by now. Hmm. I guess no. So yeah, something else I want to look into is you know I'm using that uh, TP-Link power line setup where you can uh, basically run your Ethernet through the power line. Well, what I want to do is I want to get the um, TP-Link power line Wi-Fi extender so that I can uh, set it up down here and then disable the Wi-Fi. I've been having this problem on that stupid godforsaken bell modem where if I have too many things, if I have too many things connected over Wi-Fi, by too many things I mean like more than two, like my cell phone is connected and I connected, an, uh, the, the Google Mini's connected, and that's the two items. I connected an iPod Touch last night, and every 30 minutes, the modem would lock up. I was like, what the hell? Like an iPod, my old blue iPod that I got back at, uh, at the call center. I won it in a, in a competition for uh, the day for the most amount of... Uh, customer happinesses where if a customer gave you a kudos your name would be put into a draw and at the end of the draw at the end of the day they drew a name and the winner got a, uh, a stupid eye poo and uh, I won it whoop de doo but I haven't used it in a while because I lost it and I found it finally <laughs> so I, uh, I hooked it all up I was ready to rock and it wouldn't charge, finally got the stupid thing to charge. Turns out there's like a big chunk of Oreo in it. I guess he was using it to listen to his tunes while he pooped. I don't know. So anyway, needless to say, cleaned out the port, got it to charge, fired it up, put it back on the Wi-Fi because the last time it was on, I had that old uh, Netgear router hooked up. And uh, lo and behold, the some bitch pile of monkey nuts did not that was cause sorry was causing me problems. So what I'm thinking is I do have the net gear still, and there is a way to set it up as a uh, oh, wireless extender. What I'm thinking is I might set it up in my computer room as a wireless extender, 
because I remember that thing there it could hit the garage easily but if I put it right in the window I should be able to hit the hill uh, <laughs> Uh, but what I want to do is uh, set it up in there and then uh, as a wireless extender and then disable wireless on the router and just have the uh, a the ASUS or the uh, sorry yes an ASUS not a Netgear the ASUS being the wireless uh, access point and the Bell router can just be for sharing over LAN because let me wow that's noisy these are going to be good Oh my goodness, I love these uh, chicken egg rolls from uh, Freshco, they're fantastic, fan frickin tastic I need to get myself a haircut too, I'm getting, getting starting to look a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, dilapidated over here. But yeah, um, I was thinking about setting that up, or getting one of those power line wirelesses setting it up downstairs because I want to get my camera system back online and I want to add more to it I want some cameras outside now so I can keep an eye on shit because uh, there's been a couple break-ins in vehicles lately M not, my, not mine but there was an attempt mind you the one night I went outside with Oreo the guy was between the Trans Am and the truck and uh, you know, we both went outside. I rocked a piss off the deck, and well, I was gonna until Oreo went out, went to take a piss, and he looked over and he started growling. Then he barked, and I heard scuffle in the driveway, so I grabbed Oreo's poop shovel and I went out to the driveway. And buddy's like, "Oh fuck!" and he just ran, he bolted up the road. I wasn't gonna chase him or anything, but I got to look at the guy. So if I ever uh, ever see him again, I'm going to uh, definitely give his his information to the cops. Find out that if I ever go to like if I go somewhere and I see he's actually working a job there, well, it's on. But yeah, I just grabbed the shovel because I thought it was like a bear or like an animal in the driveway. And well, with a shovel, you know, you can do some pretty good damage with it, um, or at least make a lot of noise with it and scare the thing off. But no, it was a human. Good thing I didn't swing because. Probably would have killed him. But anyway, yeah. I want to set up some cameras outside to catch action. Because uh, there's too many too many degenerates in the neighborhood. i got to be taken out. But anyway, that's what's new and exciting with me. I can now say, hey Google, turn on studio lights. Okay, turning the studio lights on. I feel like I'm on the freaking USS Enterprise, people. Okay Google, turn off the studio lights. Turning the studio lights off. Wow, nice timing. So there you go. Like that's I don't know. I think that's kind of neat. The fact that I can just use my vocals and control my one light bulb in this entire house. Soon I'll be able to do them all. Meet downstairs and be like, turn on the kitchen lights. Turn on living room lights. Turn on the bathroom lights. Taking a dump and I fart and it actually sounds like that. And then all of a sudden the bathroom goes dark and I'm like, shit. You know, one of those. But anyway, people, I'm gonna. I, I got nothing else on the go today. I'm just relaxing and uh, eating egg rolls and stuff. But uh, I'll keep the vlog going, I guess. And if uh, something else pops up, uh, we'll talk about it. All right. Thanks. Bloody hell. Parliament passes plain tobacco packaging laws, regulates vaping. This took place May 16th, which was totally yesterday. I wanted to talk about this because. It's stuff like this that pisses me off, you know? People know smoking's bad. Their whole idea behind this, I'm gonna head out to the garage, guys, we're gonna cook some chicken. Uh, I'm gonna make some supper, and uh, just I gotta be in bed early tonight, because I gotta go to work tomorrow for 7 a.m. So let's go to the garage, fire up the barbecue, we're gonna make some chicken uh, wings, and it's gonna be good. So basically what the ban is, is they wanna implement regular packaging on cigarettes as in no more like on camels having the picture of the camel chooching on a dart or you know Demorier in their packaging looking all fancy and players in their packaging looking all fancy fancy just plain Jane cigarettes with harmful things all over them like causes lung cancer clogs your arteries so on and so forth 
to put the fear of God in you from buying cigarettes, right? Because that's gonna work. No, it won't work. It won't work. Like, back in the day when I used to smoke darts, um, I used to go to the reserve and I'd buy a bag of darts. And it was literally a clear, transparent bag full of cigarettes. Ziplocked. Nothing fancy. No writing on it. No brand. No nothing. Just a bag of darts ready to go. And I buy those because it was 30 bucks for 200, well, I say 200, but you know, they probably shortchanged you and shit, and maybe on some they actually gave you too many. Who's gonna sit there and count out 200 darts and drill them into a bag? I'm just gonna fill a bag with darts, sell it as 200, call it a day. Like, how much plainer can packaging get? A Ziploc bag, the kind you put your sandwiches into when you go to work, you know? Full of darts. Still bought them, still smoked them. Didn't care that they weren't Demoriers, Players, Camels, Marlboros, whatever. But because it's the day and age that we put all of our trust in the government to tell us what's good and what's bad, and and we don't take any actions for ourselves anymore because we're too much of freaking liberal abilities and nonsense and bullshit and we're letting the millennials run the place, we rely on the government to tell us what's good and bad. This is also the reason why hydro rates are so expensive, why gas is going up, why everything is screwing up, because you're putting your trust in an entity that doesn't know how to do anything. That's right, the government, dude, it's just people, like you and me, but they're dumb. And trust me, I know this firsthand. Oh shit, we got a fire. Yeah. Burn it off, burn it off of the green. Yeah, that's a good little fire there. Probably get this rack out of the way. Go in there and clean off that burner top. Let's just knock that down there. Get that off of there. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Hmm. Oh well. Whatever. Just case Ontario. Get a little bit of a grease fire. No big deal. Kick the barbecue over in the driveway. Better burn. All right. I gotta clean this thing. Mm. Cleaning up the barbecue. I went to the grocery store yesterday and bought this big bag of chicken finger or chicken wings. It was on sale for a good price. So I'm gonna throw them on the barbecue. We'll talk some more. So you tell me how you can honestly consider trusting a government entity that over the past years has jacked up hydro rates so bad that people are actually choosing between keeping the lights on and the heat going. Or eating food and staying alive both which mind you you kind of need to do you need to stay warm and you need food it's a given without both at the same time you run into health problems potentially die you know and this is a thing this is a thing in Ontario that I know I have a friend now her natural gas is turned off she has no way to have a hot shower because she just can't afford to because she had to choose between gas, hydro, and food. One of them had to go. She chose gas. Figured hydro gives me light and I can run a baseboard heater. And, uh, well, <coughs> oh, I almost puked. Food is good for eating. Gives you energy so you can go to work and make money. But literally, she lives beyond paycheck to paycheck. And what I mean by that is that's when you make a hundred bucks a week. I'm just throwing a number out there, guys. I know nobody makes a hundred bucks a week, but let's say you make a hundred bucks a week and you're putting out $150 a week in, in bills. That's living beyond paycheck to paycheck. And I know too many people doing that. I finally got my shit in order. I'm, I'm pretty much good going forward. As long as I can keep this job. As long as something doesn't happen. But uh, that they shut her down or they get rid of people or whatever i'm pretty much in the clear i'm i'm good now and i'll be able to afford to do what i want to do this summer which is well mainly i want to get my trans am in this garage and resprayed and i farted i needed to sell this to make room nobody bought it so something else i might do this summer is uh once the Trans Am's resprayed, what the fuck was that? Whatever. Once the Trans Am's resprayed, I might take this apart, clean it all up, because all this paint is pretty much shot. It's all rusted and stuff. So I might take a wire brush to it, clean it all up, and then respray it. 
make it look good, and then sell it next year. And I gotta sell this freaking thing, this stupid motorcycle. Or just get rid of it, scrap it, whatever. Just get it out of here. I'm never gonna wanna ride it. I'd rather get my Trans Am going and drive the shit out of that because that's uh, way cooler than a stupid bike that's gonna get you killed. Too many people getting hurt. Way too many people that I know getting hurt. But once that's said and done, I'm gonna grab my air compressor from down yonder, bring it up and set it up right here, and then make a trip to Princess Auto because they got really good deals on tarps all the time. And I was thinking that if I run a tarp from pretty much where the bench begins to where the bench begins, all the way across, 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 and then set up some sort of a fan to ventilate back here, out the back door, or whatever. Use some furnace filters to, um, to really guide it. I should be able to get um, some pretty good airflow and respraying the car because I'm doing that myself people are like well if you're making probably gonna say well if you're making good money and you're okay now why don't you just save up about three grand and get it professionally done well see a third gen Camaro Trans Am they ain't worth much so why treat it like it's a 68 or something like that's actually valued and just not care and do it myself and besides it'll give me some more experience and body work and it could be fun man this chicken is gonna be good yeah it's gonna be real good Oh yeah, but back on the talk of what I was originally talking about, I get sidetracked. I just don't like the fact that people insist, like they give the government so much control over what we should have the right to do and not to do. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't think that's, that's good. It's, you know, the way it should be is if you're stupid, let Darwin kick in, right? If you're dumb and you want to get all tweaked out on meth or speed or or coke and you kill yourself, well, there goes that problem. Don't have to worry about the meth head because he went and overdosed and killed himself. What bothers me is Health Canada will give out free methadone to a uh, meth smoker or whatever or whatever the hell it is, to uh, basically stop them, or they give up free needles. Yeah, do you know about that? You can go to, like, a medical place and get free needles to prevent sharing needles while doing illegal narcotics. Yet, when I have my peanut allergy, and I needed to get myself a EpiPen, I had to pay for that out of my pocket. So, for me, having a non-self-induced issue, i.e. allergies, it cost me money, but for this idiot who's addicted to an illegal narcotic, he's getting government assistance for free. Explain that one, Bill Nye the Science Guy. And if you want to go on the self-induced bullshit, well, look at all the type 2 diabetes out there. Type 2 is where you're born fine, but you end up gaining too much weight, or you're eating a lot of high sugar, corn syrup, glucose, whatever, and your body literally becomes immune to the insulin it produces. At which point you got to start giving yourself regular injections of insulin uh, to combat and break down the sugars in your blood. Or otherwise, you can become a hypoglycemic and, uh, well, pretty much die. Like, you'll, you'll have a stroke and die. So, that's self-induced, but you still have to go to the pharmacy and buy insulin. But methadone's free. This is your government at work, people. This is your government. Health Canada is a government agency. <clears throat> this is our government ministry, I should say. So you explain to me why this makes sense. And I'm just saying, this is what happens when you give absolute power to the government. You can't do that. That's bad. It's wrong. So I'm waiting to see what the fallout's going to be. Let me just say I'm glad I, I no longer work at that vape shop. Not to say I didn't like the gig. It was a good gig. It was fun 
instructing people on vaping and all that, but I have a feeling that these brick and mortar vape shops are going to come to a brutal and abrupt end. And that would have been, once again, another job that I lost due to the government. Lovely jubbly, right? You know, first they take the Ontario job, now they're taking away vaping. I don't know. All I can really hope for is that the NDP gets in this June, which, you know, looks pretty good. It looks like the Liberals are basically out. Nobody can trust them, and well, Doug Ford is kind of stupid. I laughed because I watched the debates, and uh, they had all the candidates up on the stage, and they were talking, and somebody asked Doug Ford, Hey, how exactly does a bill become a law? And he kind of paused. He's like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's like one of the major things that a parliament dick should know. And he had no clue. He never looked into it, never researched it, doesn't care. He figures, ah, oh, Toronto will get me in. So, worst thing that could happen in Ontario is that guy getting in. Second worst thing is somehow win winning again. Because if she wins again, she's going to be like, oh, I guess I'm doing a good job. Time to fucking jack those hydro rates up to $400 a month. Let's do it. Because I'm a greedy bitch. So. <sighs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because elections are literally around the corner. Like, I mean literally around the corner. It's currently the 17th. And we go into full-time elections on June 7th, I think it is. And then we find out the fate of Ontario. Is it going to be some crazy friggin' used to sell dope, but now as a politician? Some whack job who already had the job and muffed it up? Or is it going to be uh, the NDP, which never had a chance? And it's funny because I received this video from, uh, I'm not going to drop their name, because it was by far the dumbest thing I ever watched in my life, and... They know who I'm talking about. They're probably watching this, maybe. And literally, it was don't don't vote NDP, and it showed uh, like uh, Kathleen Wynne and what she did to the uh, province. And he goes, "And you expect different from her? Maybe it's time a man gets in there." And I'm like, "Wow! So you're saying that because she's a woman, she's going to be horrible for the job?" because the previous woman that was involved was horrible for the job. No, I don't think gender has anything to do with it. Um, and if you think that way, then, well, there's something wrong with you. I'm pretty sure the problem was, was that she, she, uh, Kathleen Wynne got in there, decided to do a bunch of shit, did them wrong, realized that afterwards, and to get herself out of a hole, she dug herself into a deeper one due to, I don't know, lack of experience, lack of guidance, who knows, I'm not defending her, bitch took my job, so, um, yeah man, I, I'd love to still be working out on Terra, that job was pimp, that job was cake, mind you, I pretty much locked down the job I'm doing now, I, I understand it so well, and, like, I just get in there and, and, and strike Strike fast, hard, and dominate. And I love it. Like, it's, it's, it's a great job. And it's at the point where how Ontario was easy. Like, I'm not saying it's like, you know, a walk in the park. It's still busy as frig. Like, you get in there and it's always something on the go that you're trying to figure out. Like, we had an issue the other day with Active Directory. For some reason, some users could authenticate and others couldn't, and it was just getting attacked. And we discovered it was actually a faulted server that was sending invalid queries to the Active Directory so much that it was lagging behind, causing weird, 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 weird pheno uh, phenomenons in the network. But we figured it out. We fixed it up. We're good to go. But, um... You know, it's stuff like that that I love. I love mysteries like that, like technological mysteries. When something's not working, should be working. And then you got to go down to court and all that. I like that kind of stuff. Didn't really get much of that out on Terra. It was pretty simple. All it was was, you know, more or less trying to figure out what the hell the customer did to break their shit. 
so that we could unbreak their shit. When there was an outage out on Terra, we didn't do anything. We just kind of sat back and let the uh, IT dicks do it because we were just the service desk. We just helped the clients, not the... Uh, we didn't really get into the servers. Most we ever did for the servers was data tape backups and shit, so yeah. So I've been asked multiple times if I ever plan on making a full comeback to YouTube. And honestly, I don't think so. I don't think I could ever go back to doing what I was doing before. I'm not the age I was when I first started. You know, guys, I'm 39 years old. I'm gonna be 40 next year for crying out loud. The fact that I'm holding the camera right now, my neighbors are probably looking at me going, what the fuck is wrong with that idiot? I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I'm still gonna make videos now and then, but it'll, it'll just be whenever I have a chance or whenever I feel like it or I have something to talk about. And I, I say that pretty much every video now. But I do get the odd person asking because they miss the old days. But you know what, people? This is this is change. This is change at its best. Things change. Life always changes. Don't get comfortable with something because the next day it won't be there. And that's something that people got to realize. That everything changes. Everything changes. Like, look at my life. My life changed big time. And it's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. But it's the way she goes. People are asking me if I'm going to go visit Bloke again or how to make a video where you go visit Bloke. Well, here's the problem with that. I don't have time off. Uh, like, And even if I did, I have no one to watch after the dog. He's the major, uh, the major thing. Uh, my parents can't take him because they take my brother's, uh, or my niece, I should say, my brother's daughter. My niece, probably easier to say, all the time. And she's afraid of anything that's not her that moves. Like she's afraid of chipmunks, house flies. She's a little scaredy cat. And that's the way she is. She'll grow up. She'll grow out of it. But she'd be really afraid of Oreo because you know how Oreo is all that in your face attitude, wants everybody to love him, and he just gets like right in there. And that would drive her nuts and she'd scream and be mad. So to avoid that happening, my parents just can't take Oreo anymore. So I have nowhere really to put him. So it kind of leaves me stuck at home. You know, back in the day, the ex would stay home with him and let him out and let him do his business and stuff while I, you know, went to the farm and had a good time and vice versa, if she went down south to visit her family or friends, I'd stay home with stupid. But, yeah, I got nobody to watch after the little guy, so I do want to get him into the vet, get his rabies and all of his other shots done and up to date and while I'm in there I want to get him Parvis, I think that's the name of it. P-A-R-V-O-S, Parvis. Uh, some kennel cough disease that a dog can get. So in order to kennel him up, like to leave him at a, a kennel, you know, what else can you call it, for like a weekend while you get out of town and do stuff, they gotta have that shot or otherwise they won't take him. They want proof of that shot. So I gotta get him in, get him all inoculated towards Parvis, and then I would be able to do trips, like on my days, my Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, I'd be able to say, get off, I'd get off Thursday morning at 7, come home, have a 5 hour nap, from 7 till noon, jump in the truck, book her down to uh, London per se, and get there around 5, 6 o'clock at night, hang out, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, book her back home. You know, that's if bloke's not busy. Yes, Bloke is still alive. No, he's not dead. Just because he doesn't make videos doesn't mean all of a sudden his heart stopped, people. Pull up. Figure it out. Like I said, things change. People lose interest in things. Now, would I videotape down there? I don't know. I really don't know because maybe he doesn't want to be on YouTube anymore and I don't blame him. You know? Some people are against the camera and... The viewers don't understand that because a lot of my viewers came from David's Farm or One Pug Life. And those guys never respected anybody's privacy. They would just bust out their camera and start shooting and filming whenever the hell they want and really didn't give a care. And I started off my channel doing exactly that. And guess what? 
doing that makes you a big dick. So I decided now, going forward, making these videos, I'm not going to be a big dick. I'm just going to do them how I want to do them. And if people don't like it, well, what can I say? Just don't watch. But it's the way she goes. Anyway, I'm going to get this chicken cooked, head in the house, and have some dinner. So thought I'd give you guys a little little channel update here as to what's going on. Because like I said, it's been two weeks. And uh, felt like rambling today. Mainly because I have the day off. What I should have been doing is getting that freaking tractor in here. <sighs> Charging up the battery because grass out there is getting tall. Yay, chicken! All right, I just got out of the shower. It's about 8.30 at night. I got nothing else going on, so... I think we're going to call her, boys. So that was my vlog for today talking about things and stuff and junk. My big question about that new bill coming out, or that passed, is how it's gonna affect DIY for personal consumption, you know, for vaping. Like, is my supplier gonna be gone? Am I gonna get in shit if I order flavors for e-juice for personal production and cons consumption? But, I don't really vape much anymore, like, I didn't even have a dart out with me when we, uh, when we brought, oh no, I did bring a dart out, but I never even used it. And at work, some days I don't even bother bringing a dart because I don't really use it. And if I do, I usually bring the old uh, Ego One, which is like I'm out the lung. And sometimes I don't even go outside for break. I just go into the coffee room and grab a cup of coffee and get, get uh, caffeinated and carry on with life. But yeah, like... Vaping versus smoking, it's two different balls. Like, it's two different games. Two different shows. Two different episodes. It's like tomatoes to cookies. Like, one, it's like, like when I smoked cigarettes, I used to base my, whatever I was doing, like mowing the lawn. I'd mow half the lawn, have a dart, mow the rest of the lawn in the backyard, have a dart, and then mow the front lawn, have a dart. With vaping, I mow both the front and backyard, and then I have a dart. You know, I'd have a chooch on the e-dart. Sometimes not even. Like, it reprograms your brain on how to receive nicotine, and it just, I don't know, it's... I don't think the liberals or these government officials understand the difference because they've never lived it, so they're just assuming, like typical politicians do, you know, because they're fucking useless, and uh, trying to decide what's best for humanity because that's all they ever do because we gave them that stupid power to do so. We need to take that back, but just saying. On that note, though, people, I'm going to shut her down here. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to put them. They're down below there somewhere. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.